Okay, what we have here is sort of a quick and dirty isolation transformer. Um, these are from two UPS, these are two UPS transformers. Um, I'm not sure which ones, which exact models they were out of. They're from a Trip Light, Trip Light Omni Pro 450 is from one. This is the only housing and board that I still have. Um, the other one got junked a long time ago. Um, but the batteries were shot and I just tore them apart because they weren't really great UPSs to begin with. And um, the switch was broken on one of them, I think, the power switch. Uh, but anyway, these are both, um, they're, they're different amp amperage outputs. One's a 40 amp, one's a 30 amp, I believe. But they do have, um, they're both the same voltages. They both had um, 12 volt batteries in them, and I believe the output is... Um, 32 volts out of the transformer, I think. Um, or that could just be the fuse rating. Um, but we have two leads connected together off the secondary wind. Well, in the UPS, these would be the primary windings because these would be coming off the batteries. And your secondary windings would be outputting the 120 volts or 110 or whatever they use before they get they go through the rectifier whatever circuitry they have. Um, sine wave generator or whatever it is, square wave generator probably in those. Um, anyway, we've got two transformers connected with nothing but the output coils. And we have this, the white leads, the small white lead and the large white lead are both tied together. Um, these were, this wire went straight to the outlets on the back of the um, UPS. The other, white, the other wire I pretty much figured out, the black wire, common sense, but the black wire eventually made its way to the other side of the outlet. So, let's get our power cord here. I do not recommend doing it this way, but since I don't have anything else at the moment, and we'll watch the meter, it's set on 200 volts AC, and we're going to be using the larger transformer as the primary transformer, and the smaller transformer as the secondary transformer. So. We have our meter connected up to the smaller transformer and we'll connect power to the larger transformer. Now I'm not sure what kind of power output this would be capable of. And that, that little zap energizing sound is because one of the um, plates on the small transformer is a little bit delaminated. I'll show you that in a minute here. But we've got our connection to create an isolation transformer. And what this does is it basically um, removes you from, like if you're grounded, it removes you from the circuit, so there's less chance of getting electrocuted. See, the a couple of the um, a couple of the plates are delaminated on the outside edge of this smaller transformer. Um, so, simple solution to that: just put four bolts through it which we'll probably be doing anyway as these will end up going in that power supply unit that I'm constructing. Alright, so a quick test here before my battery on my camera goes dead. Um, 
<clears throat> have the two transformers connected. I have them a little bit more solidly connected with just a couple splitter fittings here. And we have a quick test set up with a um, 40 watt and a 60 watt light bulb connected. And um, that is wired into here and we're monitoring voltage off of the secondary transformer. So let's power it up and see what happens. All right, we're reading 114.7 volts. Let's turn on the 40 watt bulb. 112 volts. Turn on the 60 watt bulb. We're down to 110 volts. Holding fairly steady. Somewhat. And let's try with both bulbs. About 107 volts. I'm not really sure if that's good or bad, to be honest. Um, so, and we're back up to 115 volts. And transformer doesn't feel warm at all. Um, so yeah, I'm not exactly sure what a good rating as far as a resistive load would be for an isolation transformer. Um, but it does work. So we'll have to clean up the connections a little bit and um, get it actually mounted. So again, Thanks for watching. All right, so we've had the setup running probably for a good 20 minutes or so here, and we're still at about 108 volts. So let's pull the power. And our transformers are warm, but they're not hot. So running for about 20 minutes at about, um, what is it? 60 100 watts um, resistance look resistive load um, I'd say it's doing pretty good um, as I said I'm not sure about the um, typical uh, voltage drop on a, a um, isolation transformer but I'd say it's pretty good for what I'm going to be using it for which will be for uh, testing and troubleshooting vintage radios and stuff so there we go um quick and dirty um isolation transformer thanks for watching